You guys getting scared of the dog? That's all right. It's a cloud under the cabin. Here he comes. I know. Yes. Watch it, mate. Yeah, you're doing good. Their kitty litter's just got water on it because they've got a big box in there, so I don't think I've left wee, wet kitty litter there. Like weed kitty litter, but it's just water. I want it to dry out. Because it got rained on. Bowls me clean. Hey. Hey. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Hey, stop it. Slinky. Slinky, come on. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. Look at me. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Just ignore them. Come on. Come away. Good boy. Yeah, leave them. Leave them. No. Slinky. Slinky. Good boy. Good that's what I want you to do. Pay attention to me. Good boy. Now, go off and play. Go off and play. Or I'll let Henry out for his play. The dogs are crated. And they take turns. Because basically, they have had fights. I'm not worried about fights. They run off together. And when they're one at a time, they don't leave the property. They have neither of them have left the property for a long time. He's a good boy. And they come running back. Every time they run into their crates, they get a treat. They love it. Just watch it, mate. I said no. No. Psst. Good boy. Hey. 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 I want him to be able to be around them and relax. He's not a very relaxed dog at the best of times. He's always like kind of a high alert. He's just that kind of a high alert, high energy dog. And... <laughs> When Elsa was um, like totally disabled and bedridden, Sid used to sit on her. <laughs> she hated it. It was kind of funny. Um, he knew she couldn't do anything to her, him. And uh, yeah. So basically, um, Slinky and Henry spend 50-50 out of their um, crates, they've got massive crates, like four, book, four foot by three foot. So what, that's like 1,200 by nearly, th by thousand, it's over three foot. And one of them's taller than the other, but they're both quite high. One's like nearly four foot high, the other's three something high. Um, oh, Navy's coming home. Yeah, dog looked up and I looked up too. Anyway, um, it's good. She's eating horse poo. That's good to know because I'm about to worm them all again with ivermectin, which is dangerous. And um, so I might even kick them out of this paddock um, when I worm them for a couple of days or however long. I'll just check how long. I know Henry's upset because he can hear them. Slinky doesn't cry. Um, it's interesting. Because Slinky um, likes to eat a fair bit of horse poo too. I think it's got like um, some grains and nutrients in it that they um, enjoy. They like eating grass too. It just it was a torrential downpour last night. It was fantastic because, hello! Um, the water tank nearly filled up and I've got these big buckets up here for the horses and they all filled up. Except that one just there. I don't know why that didn't. It's not getting much drip already. Okay, well, um, the horses in this paddock are down there. I don't know if you can see. If you see, there's a horse's bum near that car coming in. That, I think it's Penny. I look at it. Waving to my neighbours. And um, let him eat that. I'll try and put this together with Elsa's, but I'm doing a lot of editing on my phone. I'm having a break from the computer while I'm on, you know, having a real break. I haven't had such a long break from a um, uh, computer for such a long time. And um, <laughs> Elsa loves the neighbours. If she could go up there for a, a... She loves going to visit. They've got a greyhound. She just loves going up there. So does Slinky, actually. They all do, but Slinky hasn't been up there 
for a while, which is really good. He plays with their dog, he's fine. Henry, Henry is the dog he'll fight with and he'll be food aggressive, uh, so you've got to be super careful. But him and Henry, my cats have knocked the tins of food off the thing. I'll have to go down and get them. And now mango trees growing. And uh, I'm getting some more grass seed when it comes in to the local produce store. Um, and I want to dig a dam, a little dam in this paddock down there somewhere where um, the water naturally runs and catches it, where there's already a dam type um, structure. Okay, and there's my brumbies down there and Ruby. <laughs> Banjo is such a boss. And the friggin' wasted bale of hay. I can hear the neighbor's greyhound crying and screaming because they've just gone home. He was really excited. Okay. Come on, Slinky Slew. He's all right. See, I think Cloud, Cloud would be under that, which isn't a bad place to be on a hot day, is it? We've got our fans inside. He's a good boy, aren't you? Yeah, I know. You're my good boy. I love you. I know. You're such a good boy. You're a good boy. The boy that didn't even know how to sit when I got him, and now you know sit. Don't you? When you come when you're cold, you're a good boy, aren't you? You get worried by the horses, I don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching.